What's up everybody, so the PS4 system software update 8.01 has just been released and I'm going to give you guys some instructions on how to make sure that you don't lose all your files when the 8.01 update gets installed. A lot of people have problems with the 8.00 PS4 system software update where it bricked their PS4, they couldn't get it up and running again and they had to do a complete system wipe, they lost other files. So before that happens to your system, I'm just going to walk you through the few things you'll want to do so let's get started so first thing you want to do since the system software update just got released right now you'll want to disconnect your ps4 from the internet so if you're connected via LAN cable go ahead and disconnect the LAN cable now if you're on Wi-Fi go ahead and turn on your ps4 and turn off the Wi-Fi momentarily so that we can do a few things before the system software update gets downloaded and installed automatically. Okay, now that you're taking your PS4 offline, what you wanna do is go over to settings, go down to system, and then go down to automatic downloads. And what you wanna do is uncheck this one right here where it says system software update files. You wanna uncheck it because what this does is it will automatically download the system software update while your PS4 is in rest mode. So a lot of people have their PS4 to be in rest mode so it can download updates while it's kind of off or in rest. The problem with this is that with some PS4 system software updates, the PS4 will go ahead and automatically install the PS4 system software. And what happens when you turn on your PS4, you get this problem where it says cannot start the PS4 and you're in a world of hurt because you haven't backed up all your saved games on your PS4. So first things first, uncheck the automatic download and installation of update files. Okay, then we're gonna press circle to go back. Next thing you'll wanna do is if you have PlayStation Plus, you can go ahead and back up your data to the cloud before you install the PS4 system software update. This is gonna help you recover your save games in the event that your PS4 becomes not bootable and you can't get into it. So you go to application save data management and you'll wanna go down to auto upload. You wanna make sure that this is turned on because this is gonna automatically upload your saved data, your games to the cloud if you have PlayStation Plus. Now, if you don't have PlayStation Plus, even though I highly recommend you get it, I will leave a link down below where you can pick it up because you get two free games a month and it will automatically save your games in the cloud in case something ever happens. Okay, so if you don't have PS Plus, what you can do is you can go to save data in system storage. That's the data that's sitting on the hard drive on your PS4. So what you can do here is manually upload your saved data to the cloud using this option. So if you don't have PS Plus, you're gonna wanna use this option here, which is copy to USB storage device. Now you will need a backup USB drive. I will leave a link down below if you need one. And if you guys wanna pick up PS Plus, I will leave a link down to it down in the description below. Okay, great. Now you have all your saved games backed up to either the cloud or a USB backup storage device. Now, is it safe to install the 8.01 update? Not quite yet. If you do have a capture gallery, so if you capture your games while you're playing, you had a great game and you wanna save it, and you have a bunch of stuff in your gallery, you wanna go back to your capture gallery. And I'll find mine right here. So if you start capture gallery, you're gonna to wanna to back up all this stuff too. So the capture gallery will allow you to back up your screenshots and your video clips. Okay, great. So now your PS4 is set up such that if you ever have a problem with the PS4 system software update, you will be able to recover your saved games and your capture gallery because trust me, once uh, you get that error where it says cannot start the PS4 and you tried everything and the only options are to initialize your your PS4 hardware, there really is no way to get your data back unless you've backed up beforehand. And I wanna make sure that your PS4 lasts because I know a lot of you have been trying to get the PS5 and only a few people have been able to get the PS5. There's just such a high demand and low stock of the unit. So let's make your PS4 last. And no, just to debunk a myth, Sony is not breaking your PS4s because the PS5 came out. It just happens over time because the hard rate goes bad or something went wrong during the update process. All right, now that we have our PS4, so it never installs system software updates automatically. And we have a backup of our saved games in our capture gallery. 
we are going to go ahead and connect our PS4 back to the internet and we're going to manually download the system software update 8.01 and I haven't installed it actually. Okay, so I'm going to be a test for you guys. I'll be the guinea pig and let's see if it breaks my PS4. So this will be an indicator of whether it's safe to install or not. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the uh, LAN cable or the Ethernet cable as they call it to the back of my PS4 now. Okay, since we disabled the automatic download of PS4 system software updates, you won't see notifications saying it's downloaded the update. You're gonna have to manually go and check for a new update. And if there is a new update, the PS4 will allow you to download it. So you wanna go over to settings, go down to system software update. It's gonna go ahead and check. And you see here, it did find a system software update version 8.01. And it said it's available. It added to our downloads. So now we're gonna get the details really quick, see what this update is all about. So it just says the system software update improves system performance. Yeah, this is a pretty common one. Uh, so yeah, maybe there was something wrong with the 8.00. And this is a system improvement to fix a few of the bugs. All right, so we're going to go down to next and hit the X key. And it says the system software update will be updated. Then the PS4 will restart to start the update. So let's go ahead and make sure that the update is downloaded first. I press the PS button and I'm going to go down to notifications and I see that it's still being downloaded. So make sure that you finish downloading the system software update before you do that. So let's wait for it to finish. It may take a while depending on your internet connection. Okay, so it looks like it's actually gonna prepare to install. And it's gonna show you the percentage and then once it's ready to install, I believe it should ask you whether you wanted to install it or not. Okay, now that it says it's ready to install, we're gonna go back to our system settings, go down to system software update, and it tells us right there an update file has been downloaded. So now we verified that it's been downloaded, go ahead and click next. Now on this screen, it tells us that our PS4 will restart to start the update. Normally this is where you would see something go wrong. So let's take a look and let's see if 8.01 will break my PS4 or not. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and press X here. Wish me luck guys. All right, this is a good sign. It says system software update. It's asking us to please wait. It's actually installing the update file. So, so far so good. What you wanna look for here is if it gets stuck at any point, like at 24% or something for a long time or 99%, that means your hard drive may be going bad, okay? So just uh, something to look out for. Okay, that rebuilding the database is pretty normal. Hey, there we go, installed version 8.01. Nice. So go ahead and press the PS button. And go to notifications. We see here that it installed. Great. All right. So hopefully it went as well for you guys as it did for me. If the info in this video helped you guys out, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe to watch more helpful videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.